What's up guys, welcome back to another video and we're running the dual GPU setup again like we did in the previous video. We have the 6600 XT and the 5700U. We're doing some testing here at Monster Hunter Wilds and we're figuring out some very interesting things. So we have MSI open, we got a lock 30, but we also have, if you see up here, it says 30 at 60 because we have frame generation on. So let me take show you the settings that we're on right now. I'm gonna unscale it. Our settings are pretty garbage. Uh, we're we're playing at 1600p, I think, um, because this game's a beast. This Ryzen 5700U just cannot keep up with this game. So we're playing at 900p. 900p. Uh, our frame cap is set at 30. Um, we can actually get more than that, but it, we have a smoother gameplay if we cap it at 30. Um, and our graphics are high, um, FSR quality and high. Um, we don't have frame generation enabled here, but we do have it on lossless scaling. And here's the cool thing with lossless scaling. Um, because we're using the APU, um, we get next to no latency. Uh, very, it may be slightly noticeable, but definitely not, it's not gonna ruin your gaming experience. Uh, with lossless because we're using the onboard graphics on the on the APU um, and it's pretty cool because when we're scaling here it's gonna scale to 1440p boom and the cool thing is right here GPU number two you can see that we're using only 50% of the second GPU the first GPU we're using damn near 100% of it um, but the second GPU, we're only using 60%, so that there's, there's room. Like, the APU is super, super capable. Super capable. Um, unfortunately, this game is, you know, this game's a lot. It's a lot for this um, poor game, for this poor PC. Um, so, I'm just playing here, and we'll, we'll just do some, we're on a quest right now, but... This is kind of like a worst case scenario. There's a lot of things going on on the map and we're it's not a lock 60 um, right, right prior to filming. I had a lock 60, but now that it's in this um, whatever weather, it, it's not great. It's pretty bad. Um, we're dropping, so you do notice it. But the overall quality looks good. There's You don't see that marshmallow effect like you always do when you're not using a secondary GPU to do this. And honestly, this is super playable for me. I can play this easily. Like this is, this feels good to me. Like I know that it's a little bit blurry because we are uh, scaling up from 900p. But man, if this is all you have, if all you have is a mid-range graphics card from four years ago and an APU, dude, dude, you're doing, I would argue this is as good as maybe a 3060 something like 3050 maybe even better than that uh, on this game Thir maybe 30 i don't know what a 3060 ti gets on this game but i know it's not getting a lock 60 frames that's for damn sure um but dude like tell me this is not playable this definitely looks closer to 1080p not 1440p but i i have no problem sitting here playing this game um with this with, with these settings now I'm gonna just take off um, upscaling um, real fast. Oh boy, I'm about to die. Come on, kill me, kill me. Oh, I, I fainted. That's whatever, I, it's okay if I faint. I'm gonna go ahead and then turn off scaling with the APU. I'm gonna go ahead and put it back on the 6600 XT and you can see the difference. Okay, so now it's, oh, it's like, molasses now it i hope that shows in ca on camera but it f doesn't feel as good there's a bit of there's quite a bit of latency now it makes me a little bit nauseous it's i i, I think you'll get used to it over time but it definitely feels worse we're for our frame rate if you see it it's dropping well below 30 now um as before we were staying in the you know high 20s uh, let's fight the monster again. See how 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 if this is a playable experience. It's crazy because the second GPU is only 15, 16 percent utilization. So it, it's working, man. 
Okay, can we fight this monster? Okay, this doesn't feel bad as bad with the monster, but I do feel the latency. Definitely noticeable. The picture quality is about the same. I'll say that. Um, but the latency is just, it's tough. It's rough. If you're a person, that, okay, yeah. Look, just even panning around like that is kind of hard to do. If you're a person that gets uh, motion sickness relatively easily, I, I, it would be hard to play like this all the time. It'd be really hard. Really, really hard to play this like this all the time. Well, we're still getting that lock 60, but the latency is what's getting me now. Right up the butt. Yeah. I get back on my. We're gonna switch back GPUs, and the cool thing about this is it's so easy to switch. Just click two buttons. Let me see if I feel a difference. It's a huge difference. This is there's almost no latency on this. This just goes to show you that if you have a system like this, this is definitely what you need to do. If you have a APU and you're not doing this like right now, I don't know what you're doing. Like. This literally is a game changer for any any PC. But other than that, guys, this is just a quick one. I kind of just wanted to show you that. Um, that, man, we're getting pretty close to lock 60 here at Monster Hunter Rise. Very, very playable experience on really old hardware. Very mid-range stuff. A 5700U and a 6600 XT. You know, we're at 9070 XTs now. We're... You know, so just just because your hardware is old doesn't mean you need to upgrade now because this is pretty freaking awesome if you ask me.